All right. YouTube family, I'm back in the fight chair. It's like, what's that? Almost, what time is it? One, 12, 40, 6, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Everybody's asleep, so I gotta, I can't scream and go crazy like I normally do. I just gotta be quiet and do my intro quiet, like Superman 2000 in the fight chair. Of course, I'm up to the laundry, I'm folding clothes, I'm watching fights. And I got my trusted notebook. So, Alistair over him versus Alaska. I watched that fight like six times over. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, very good. Um, it's a good win, very, very good win. Excellent win <coughs> by over him. Only problem I see is that, um, you know, let me back up. Let's talk about the fight first of all. So first round was really good. Our last game did really well. The boxing was going great. Our overing was very smart. We clinched up with him. Gave him the knee to the midsection and wore him down. Now notice that overing started off slow. Just like how Nate Diaz did. Wore him down with the knee to the midsection. Leaned on him. Missed work his cardio down. He pulled, you know, gave him the little rope at all. No. Notice that our notice. One of the things that you want to notice that over him clinched up against him and pulled him back up against the cage and wore him down, just kept wearing him down. And then around the second round, when he came back in the second round, he realized that over him was trying to wear him down and mess with his cardio. So he started cutting off the ring using the fight triangle, striking and backing up. But over him kept in rounds one and two, over him kept doing his hand like this. Whenever a fighter does that, he's gauging the distance. You know, don't take the bait. And he kept gauging his hand like this and sidestepping and sidestepping. He did it in round one, most of round one, and then most of round two. But the thing is that when a fighter gets in a, in a spot in your peripheral where, you know, he's doing one thing all the time, and you, 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 psychologically you get comfortable. You think he's gonna do the same thing? Just keep putting his hand out and stepping and stepping. That creates an opening. And when that created the opening, that was when Alistair over him threw the over kick, the head kick, when he created the op the the opening. Because what was happening is that every time over him kept coming in and doing the body shots, which really worked well for over him because it, it wore Alaska's cardio down. But Go back and watch the fight. I double dare you. Go back and watch the fight. And play my voice in the background. And you'll see what I'm saying. When Overeem realized that our last girl was going to knock him out by throwing a big overhand. Every time he kept coming in. So he said alright. I know what I'm going to do. He did a head kick. Same head kick that Travis Brown used to knock out over him. It's the same head kick that he. Same technique he used. And Arlaski, which was like, <laughs> could you see that? It's a good clean win. But some things I noticed that I, I just like wrote down watching the fight six times over and over again. Alright, so I covered the fight. Everything was good. The location was in his hometown. You know, he's a Dutchman. And my boy Slam X, 1976. He, 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 he did the fight live. So if you watch his video, you'll, hear, you'll see it live. He, he called it. You'll hear him calling it. Now, after watching his video, I went back and I looked at several of Weird Doom's fights. And I can tell you that um, the matchup between Stipio Mycock and Weird Doom, that's not even an issue. Where Doom is going to run through that guy like a hot knife through butter. Which is probably why the UFC staged in Brazil. I can tell you how that fight is going to play out. Okay. That fight is going to play out. With Stibio Mycock putting pressure on, on Where Doom. Throwing all type of angles using his boxing. Stibio Mycock is going to try to win. Like how Holly Holm beat Ronda Rousey. He's gonna he's gonna use solid boxing 
good technique and cut the ring off and prevent Weird Doom from capitalizing on his jujitsu. If you go back and watch Weird Doom fights, every time when he falls down and lay on his back, don't nobody want none of that. Everybody always get up. Well, here's the problem. Weird Doom is a three-time jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu champ, world champion, right? Good. Now, over him. Notice in the first round, when Arlovsky took all those body shots and he fell to the ground. What did he do? He stayed on the ground, he made over him on top of him, and then he just locked up over him in guard, and that was it. Like that gave him the opportunity to catch his breath, to control his breathing, get himself together again, and came up fresh for the second round. He wore the clock down. That's what he did. He wore the clock down, made it made time run down on the clock by going in guard, and that tells me that. Over him, ground game is not that good. Okay, that's, that's what that tells me now. Let's, let's, let's go forward now. Step your mic out versus where Doom. Where Doom is gonna just same thing he did with Kane Velasquez. Eat all the punches, wear him down, either submit him or knock him up. And where Doom is gonna hit him with those big knees and those big that that big that big jab where he steps and puts his body weight into it. And that vicious left hook that he has. That's what he's gonna he's gonna use. And a solid right uppercut. So my cock isn't the issue. Right now I'm looking at in my mind, I'm already seeing over him versus we're doom. That's the fight I'm already seeing. I'm not even considering UFC 198 unless something happened to surprise me where I'm like, oh my goodness, did you see that? I'm not even considering Stip your my cock. I mean, if you're watching this tip, you don't get upset. I know somebody I might interview you. But right now, your comment about, you know, what good is jujitsu going to do for you when somebody's punching you in the face? Uh, maybe you haven't seen this guy punch and fight. I mean, he beat Cain Velasquez. So, you know, the, and Cain Velasquez is a high-pressure fighter with good combination and good head kicks. So you might want to think about that a bit more carefully. All right. So, I haven't said all that. Fight I'm looking at is gonna be weird doom versus Overeem. How do I think that's gonna play out? I think that Overeem can, if he uses his, his his kickboxing background and all his other skills, cut the ring off. But I do not see Overeem beating weird doom because of the fact that you have to understand uh, the the fact that weird doom. Has a very strong chin. Overeem has a decent chin, but not a chin as strong as Weird. Weird Doom can take a hit and keep going. And Overeem is good at throwing leg kicks, but I want you to know when you throw a leg kick, you're vulnerable. When Cain Velasquez lost the belt to the Sanchez, remember when he threw that leg kick and then he got caught with that big overhand? Overeem is susceptible of, of that happening to him. If he tries to do a lot of leg kicks, because Weird Doom has that long reach and he'll eat those kicks. So, Tipio Mycock gives you 198. He's done. Weird Doom's going to beat him. The matchup is going to be over him versus Weird Doom. Weird Doom is going to take the win. The person I have beaten Weird Doom is going to be Kane Velasquez. I have him coming back and claiming that belt. That's my two cents from the fight. If you think I'm wrong, comment. It's no problem. All right, guys. Sorry my video is so long. I'm working on making them short. I just can't help it. I love talking. I'm getting too excited. I'm going to wake the kids and everybody up. I love fights. I'm excited. This is just the stuff I'm excited about. As time goes by, eventually, when I start doing these play-by-plays, I'm actually going to put the footage in a box to the left or the right of me, somewhere here, where you can see and I can pause and talk about it. Providing I get permission from the Ultimate Fighting Champ and Zufa. I have to reach out to them and ask them for permission because their content is copyrighted. And if I were to do that, YouTube would probably take every, my, every video I've ever put and then shut my channel down. Alright guys, that's my two cents from the fight here. So, peace out.